In this lecture, I want to show you how to use the Doxygen document generation system to create comments of code within C++. This facility is similar to the Javadoc facility within, uh, within Eclipse. Uh, you do need to make sure you download uh, the Eclox plugin uh, as well as uh, install Doxygen on your system. So the, uh, there are a number of different places that you can generate your documentation for your code. Um, there, you can generate uh, your documentation within the header file, uh, and you can also generate your documentation within the source files. Uh, turns out that Doxygen will be able to figure out uh, um, that uh, the code uh, and the comments are related to each other. I'm not sure what happens if you uh, duplicate the, uh, the documentation to different places, whether or not it merges them or not. Uh, maybe we can try that. Anyway, so uh, the, the code style or the comment style that you need to use within, doc, uh, within Eclipse for Doxygen uh, is uh, similar to the um, commenting style you use in, in Java. So you start off with the, um, the two asterisks, uh, and then uh, you can add your um, your comment. So this is the constructor for the for the class. Okay. So once we do that, um, we can um, generate the. Um, uh, the documentation for the code. And so we start off by, by choosing a Doxygen docs file that says, uh, you know, that we need to create one. So I'm going to <coughs> um, place it into a file called um, Hello Doxygen. And just go ahead and click on Finish. Uh, it says here uh, it was not able to run Doxygen because it's missing. Um, uh, Doxygen is either missing or so. Uh, I need to set my preferences, and this is going to happen to you as well. Um, you need to add Doxygen to this. So I <clears throat> did install it on my computer under Program Files and Doxygen. If I just go to the bin directory, it'll find it. Yeah, so I'll click on that and apply and OK. And so now that Doxygen file is created, and I'm going to double click on that, and it's going to bring up the Doxygen or the Eclox uh, um, uh, plugin. And now I can set which things are actually generated here. So I can generate LaTeX, which is a way of generating PDF documentation for your um, uh, for your code. Actually, let me just leave that on. I call this project demo one, and then we'll give it a version number, uh, and then input directories. Um, it's under workspace demo one. And then source. Click on OK. And uh, we'll uh, we'll use all everything that was documented. So um, we can choose all entries or all documentation. So anything that's documented we'll include in our output. And uh, the output directory. I'm um, just going to use. Let's let's try using the default there. And okay, so that should be everything. And let me save it. And now run Doxygen. Okay, so you see here that the uh, these directories were created. So there's a uh, um, there's the uh, HTML. <coughs> version and then there's also a LaTeX version. And if I did everything correctly it should tell me it should uh, I should be able to double click on this and see the documentation 
shows me which files were documented. So it's my class.h. Um, this is uh, this is the actual code. Hmm. I think maybe I did something incorrect here. And did I save my documentation? Did I have that there? Doesn't actually show the documentation that I had for this .h file. It shows all the line numbers. I must have documented improperly. Let's try one more thing. Let's say all entities. Generate that. the file okay so yeah so I didn't uh, click the red option so she shows the namespaces CSC 274 classes and then if I go to there's the class definition for my class and there's the, the documentation that I, I wrote and then it actually also includes all the files that were generated and so it shows I wonder if you can actually show the actual code. That's so, but it does have the documentation that I actually had within the code. Okay, and let's tr so let's try something else uh, with this. Let's do documentation here. So I <clears throat> I had a question as to whether or not the what happens when I document in two different places. Let's try this. Double click. Try documenting here again. This is more documentation. Right. Now let's see what it does. So classes, my class. Oh, and so it looks like it, it merges the documentation from the two different sources. Okay, so uh, within uh, within the use of Doxygen, uh, there are a number of of um, um, a number of tags that you can put into your code to document things like parameters and so forth. So let's actually do an example of this. And let's document this method here. And <clears throat> so I can use things like the author tag. So it says that I wrote this code. I think I would know how to spell my own name. Uh, I can document the parameters. So this is the um, first attribute of the class. I can also document um, other things like uh, maybe I have some things to write yet. Um, I don't have anything to do. So anyway, so that's the, um, we can also do uh, returns here. Let's do it with this one. Oh. So let's uh, if we get that right, we 
return. So the value of attribute one. Okay, so let's generate the doc the uh, doxygen code for this now. here so the classes <clears throat> and my class and then we can look at the documentation for each of these so I documented this so <clears throat> there's uh, the return value here is the the part where I documented the author and the parameters and, um, and then the to do that's left for that so Anyway, uh, that's technically, uh, as far as the tools are concerned, the technology necessary. Um, this is the way to actually document uh, your code uh, within Eclipse using Doxygen. Uh, we will have, um, uh, in class, uh, perhaps uh, talk a little bit about uh, some of the um, uh, some of the communication aspects of, uh, of documenting the, uh, the code and some of the important aspects of the things that you need to document and all of that. So anyway, so that, uh, that concludes this, uh, this lecture.